Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and today we're looking at the washerwoman exercise. We did some previous videos with the, the yoga strap and having Marcella really fill out her mid-back. And so this is a great exercise to challenge that and to remind her of how to restore this natural uh, lumbar curve. And again, she's pretty flat from right below C7 to her mid-back. So that is the area that we're really looking for all these ribs in this area to go back and up, like they want to roll to the back of her head. The arms are going to come all the way up towards the ceiling. She also wants to pay attention to how she's using her feet, not hyperextending the knees. And then on the exhale, you're gonna dive up and over the barrel. So this is her upside down ab curl, front ribs into the back ribs. Good, before she presses down, she opened this area up. And now a long, deep exhale. Try to let go of your toe pads as much as you can. You can always bend your knees a little bit here. And she's gonna go all the way down, down, down towards the floor. She's doing a really good job with her shoulders. And I really want her to think about lifting these ribs, side back ribs. So now keeping the arms long, she's gonna inhale into her ribs to lift the pedal. And then on the exhale, deepen the connection of her lower belly to bring it back down, reinforcing this lift. Inhale, really breathing into these mid-back ribs, good. And then the exhale of the belly pushes the pedal down and she gets wider in this area. Great, two more. Inhale, try to let go of your toe pads, let your head go. And then exhale from your lower belly. Good, and last one, keep breathing into this area. That was good. Now, can you keep all this as you exhale? So as you press the pedal down, your back ribs have to lift even more. That was a good one. Let's do that one more time. So you inhale. So you see how on the inhale, she gets it. But on the exhale, she tends to lose it if she doesn't really concentrate. So in order to lift, she has to ground. Good, now here, let go of your shoulders. And now, Chell, I'm gonna be your wall and you're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time. Now, put your thumbs on the same side as your fingers. Good, let your head go. Yeah, keep your head low. So you're coming up from the pelvis, right? And I want all these vertebrae to come back towards me. Keep thinking about curling. Let go of your shoulders. Good, front ribs into the back ribs. Can you bring this back towards me? Good, keep letting go of your toe pads. Good, let go of your shoulders and bring this back towards me even more. So you have to go back and down here, back and down, back and down. And when she loses the pedal, now she keeps this in her belly and you have to bring the arms up and over the head, but this has to keep coming back and down, back and down, back and down, back and down to bring the arms all the way over the head and gently release. So what we started to do there in the end, right, is to start to open and find more space here in her lumbar curve. So the challenge when she comes up about really bringing these vertebrae back and down, really important. Let's, let's look at that one more time. So Chell, you can just bend down and go all the way back down to that beginning end position with your thumbs on the same side as your fingers. So really, it's not only the exercise going down, more importantly is how your clients are coming up. So she's thinking about her ab curl here, lifting into her strap. Her arms stay long. She starts to come up and stack from the wheel of her pelvis and her sacrum. Good. And then as she's coming up, she has to play with the spring. So these lower back vertebrae shall hold here. So she needs more energy in her belly, in her deep belly, to keep bringing these lower back vertebrae towards me and down, and then she has to keep that. So bring your hands onto the pedal. Good, so what happened, as soon as you took your hands off the pedal shell, you started to extend. I don't want that to happen, right? So you have to use your exhale. As the hands lift, you have to keep coming back and down, back and down, back and down, to lift the arms up and then gently bring the arms all the way down. All right, that's still, she was still doing a little bit of extension there. 
Um, go down one more time to that very last point, just to there. Now drop your head, drop your shoulders, round your back, lift here. Now bend your knees. So this could be one thing that's going to help her, right? So we take, we slacken her hamstrings and her sacrum. So keeping your knees bent, Marcella, use your belly to bring these vert, there we go. Much better. Good. Do you feel the difference? Mm -hmm and then gently bring the arms down. But that is really important because some people will hit that last part of the spring and as soon as their hands come up, they extend. But that's not the journey upward. They have to keep curling as they come up. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.